So it is post date with destiny. I am back home in Buffalo, New York, and my voice is finally not extremely raspy because I've been extremely sick since the event. And it's funny, every Tony Robbins event that I go to, I always get sick. And it's not just me. They call it the Tony flu. So if you're in the Tony Robbins community, if you've been to most of his events or multiple events, you'll know that there's a thing called the Tony flu where everyone gets sick after the event because it's such an emotional energy detox that you go through. It's basically your body saying emotionally, mentally, and physically that you are growing beyond where you were before you got there. And every single time, I always feel like I grow beyond where I was when I was there. Uh, This event This Date with Destiny, it was my sixth Tony Robbins event, my second Date with Destiny, and I don't even know how it's possible, but this event was just that much greater of an impact for me, and it's really hard for me to explain a Tony Robbins event to anyone who hasn't been there, because once you enter the world of that, Tony Robbins and the community and the culture and the growth and the contribution and the mental, emotional expansion that you go through, it's it's insane, and it's so hard to describe to anyone who's never been in that environment before, but by far his events have been the most transformational thing for myself that I've ever been through in my entire life to help me basically remember who I am, who I truly am, who I've always meant to be, what I'm supposed to be doing, who I'm, you know, what I'm meant to go after in life. And those events have just been something for me that always recenter me back to who I truly am. And every time I leave, I just am so ready to fucking go and to just act upon, you know, doing things and actions and going places that will get me further and further closer to the path that I've always meant to been going on. So as somebody who is extremely lost in a rut, like anxious and depressed and no idea where I was going in life and I knew what I wanted to be. I know that I want a house in Hawaii on a cliff peninsula where you can hear the waves crashing and I have a backyard with palm trees and it's a total open air concept of the house and I got dogs and like I can visualize, I could draw the house in Hawaii that I will buy in the future how the fuck I'm going to get there is where I've been a little lost. So that's where, for me, it gets really, really helpful when I can discover that clarity. And it's not about someone telling me what I need to do anymore, which that was always what I thought the answer needed to be. It's more about I have all the answers within me that I need. I just have to tap into that. Because we all have this connection to this infinite intelligence where, I mean, you might not believe this, but I do. I've seen enough proof and evidence and situations to know that this is real. I am not a religious person, but I do call myself spiritual now. Um, There is something greater out there that guides us. People have these gut feelings. They are they're able to describe, you know, events in their life where they made these decisions and it ended up being profound. And people ask them, How did you know that that was, you know, the right thing to do? And people are like, I just I felt it. I had this gut feeling, like it was just what I was supposed to do. That gut feeling, that intuition is connecting to infinite intelligence. And Throughout my time at these Tony Robbins events, I've really been able to tap into that, trust my intuition more, trust that gut feeling that I have even more. And through that, I've been well guided towards what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, And, you know, sometimes I'm still not clear on it. And I think that's because I overthink a lot of things. And so I tend to do things within the last year I've gotten, you know, medium readings, tarot card readings. I started to get into energy work and I've, you know, now been certified in Reiki level one and two, um, which is self Reiki. So energy healing within the self. Um, and, you know, throughout all these experiences that I've gone through and working with, you know, crystals and it's, it's very new to me. So I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but 
it's kind of crazy how some of these readings that I've had um, with these mediums, you can't make up the shit that they tell you. And, you know, I feel like I've had readings in the past because I was super eager for answers when I was younger and I just wanted somebody to tell me these answers that I would pay like, the you know, the 20 bucks at the person at the fair and give me a palm reading and shit like that. Venice Beach. Oh, I've done one of those where you're walking down Venice Beach and you see a house that says psychic reading, palm readings, 20 bucks. <laughs> And I walk in the door and it's really fucking sketchy and they're like, yes, you're going to have lots of love in your life and like all this shit. Like I've done it. Like you can tell when it's bullshit. Okay. Trust me. I've been there, done that. The readings that I've had recently within the last year and a half since October of like 2018, you cannot bullshit this stuff. Things that you have never told anyone, things that nobody would know that have never been posted on the internet. Like, just one example, um, I ended up through friends of friends being told about this woman local to me. Her name is Judy. And let me just tell you, the first time I met Judy, it was supposed to be 30 minutes. It ended up lasting almost an hour and a half. And the woman just, first of all, she connects with higher spirits and things. And as somebody who was skeptical, I went into it. She didn't know anything about me. She didn't know where I lived, what I did. She knew nothing about me. So I was going into it blind and I also didn't want to feed her answers while I was there. So I basically just sat there and, you know, nodded and was like, wow, this is really interesting. Like in my brain, I'm freaking out, but I'm not letting her know anything um, verbally or telling her, yes, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, because this is blah, blah, blah. Like none of that happened. I wanted to be silent and I wanted to take notes and I didn't want to give any inkling that anything she was saying was true because I was very skeptical. One of the things that she said was, you know, she, my grandma came through and, you know, one thing that only my family, like my direct family, my mom, my dad, my sister, my grandma, that's it, would know is that my mom inherited my great grandmother's rings. And, you know, my mom gave, you know, one of each of our grandmother's rings to my sister and I, and we were allowed to recreate the rings however we wanted. So I still have my grandmother's rings. I haven't, you know, recreated them into anything I wanted, like earrings or a bracelet. But Judy knew. She was like, oh, your grandma's really happy that you have her rings. And she's really excited to see what you create with them. Like, nobody knows that. So first of all, blowing my mind. Second of all, that dove me deeper into the world of, okay, there's something bigger out there that I need to figure out. Long story short, throughout these readings that I've had with, I've had two readings with Judy, I've met with, I've discovered two mediums as well in Sedona, so people who aren't even local to me, and more recently came across this girl that I follow, her name is Tarot by Bronx, and, you know, I follow her YouTube channel, and I follow her readings where she does just generic ones on your horoscope, so, like, I always watch the ones on Gemini, because I'm a Gemini, and they're so accurate, like, for 80% of it, it's so accurate for me, so I decided to reach out to Bronx and was like, hey, would love to do a tarot reading with you, blah, 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 just got her reading tonight, and I shit you not, every reading I've had in the past year and a half literally there are details about everyone from every single person which by the way none of them know each other there's not a chance that they do there's details in every single one that correlate so it's like every time I get a new reading by a new person I get more details about something and it just gives me more clarity and direction that I'm going in the right place this is what I'm meant to do and it's it was just wild so I read a reading tonight by by Bronx and she actually sent me one of them um about my future soulmate in video format which I'm really pumped about I'm not sure if I'm going to post that or not I might post it to my YouTube channel um It's crazy how things that I've been feeling within me are now starting to become more real. Like this trip to Bali that I have next month, 
Judy predicted that last year before I even had anything determined or planned. So I can't bullshit this stuff. Things have come into fruition in my life that I just never would have expected. And it's it's just really, really crazy how everything has been manifesting in my life that I've been creating. And for me, through all these readings and being guided and stuff, and you might not believe in it, totally okay with me. I don't really care because it's really, really been clarifying for me to just feel calm and breathe and know that I'm on the right path. Like, my brain, one thing that's funny, one of the things from Bronx's reading, the tarot reading, was I I overthink a lot and it's hindering my ability to move forward. So it's funny reflecting on just that one piece of information that I got. I do overthink and I think I overthink to the fact of I stop myself from doing. And, you know, looking throughout the past year, these, you know, guidances is what I like to call them have helped me calm down and helped me really just hone in on who I am as a person and for the most part all of it's pretty dead on if none of it resonated with me I wouldn't have taken it in as fact like if something came in and was like you're going to be a pilot. You're going to fly planes. I'd be like, bullshit. Like, I have no desire to do that in my life. Um, so, like, it's not like I've had anything like that happen in these readings, but it's it's been pretty wild. It's been pretty profound. Uh, I don't really know. You, there's only two things that have now been said by Tarot by Bronx and from a medium in Sedona. They've both said the same thing in detail to me. They've both said that I'm going, and Judy said it as well, shit. Um, so three separate people from three different cities have all said that I'm going to be going back to school. I'm going to be continuing my education and which is wild to me because in the back of my head for years I've always thought like I'd love to get a master's degree but it just doesn't make sense to me you know like if I had all the money in the world I'd probably go back to school and get a master's um because I just like learning or I would find somebody to learn from and be like an apprenticeship type of thing but I I don't have any direction or clarity on what I would want to go back to school for so I haven't um all three of them have said that I'm going to I'm going to get that higher education. I'm going to go back to school, which is wild. And another re resounding, you know, thing that was mentioned, which I have no clarity on, but it's been repeated enough times to where it's in the back of my head, is I'm going to be working with kids. And anyone who knows me knows that I don't, I don't work with kids. I don't talk with kids. I, like, literally have no children in my life in any way, like, through family or cousins or and I'm nothing like I don't work with children like I'm not good with them like it is what it is so the fact that I've had multiple people tell me I'm going to be working with children I'm going to be teaching children I'm going to be something interacting with kids in a learning environment like I'll be a teacher is so bizarre to me and yet I can think back to a moment about seven months ago where I was looking to have a remote income so badly to um, to like move and like go to Thailand and go to Bali that one of the jobs that I kept finding over and over again was teaching little kids English, like Chinese, teaching Chinese kids English and like being super animated on a camera and being like, cup. Like, that kind of shit. Like, I've thought about it, and I decided I'm not going to do that because I just, it's not my calling. But, I mean, fuck. It's it's appeared in two readings now that I'm going to be working with kids. So, maybe I will be doing something with kids in some sort of remote income to keep me traveling around Southeast Asia. I have no idea. So, it's just crazy, the messages I've been getting. And I just felt like I needed to record this and post about it. And that's just a piece of me that I don't know if any of you have ever known that I have been very intuitive. I have been an empath. Anyone in my personal life 
knows that being around me makes them feel better. Um, and I've started to get an energy work and I do get readings and it's just a part of me. It's who I am. It's something that has really, really helped me. So thought I would share that with all of you. Good night.